good guys? It's your girl Keisha Ariel and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Listen, it has been a very long time since I have sat down in front of the camera in this setup, you know, to record a video. And to be honest, this is actually my first time this year since 2020 and we are in June that I am actually sitting down in this setup to record a video. But not to worry guys, I am back. Let's get right into today's video. In today's video, I will be sharing with you how to avoid buildup in your locks and also how to deal with this buildup. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna talk about is how to avoid buildup in our locks. Now, you guys might be wondering, well, how do you qualify to tell me how to avoid lock buildup or buildup in my locks when you ended your lock journey because of buildup in your locks? Well, to answer that question, the reason why I can actually talk to you about this is because after you know going through what I went through with my locks, I reflected on when I started my oldest son lock journey when he was um, four, going to be five years old. And this is dating all the way back to 2010. Now, when I started his locks, like I had no clue about starting locks, lock maintenance, and all of these things that I know now about locks. I had no clue. I just did what I thought was best for my son and he never had lock buildup. No buildup in his locks at all. And I remember around them times, you know, when I would go to um, my friend's house, some of my friends who have locks, I remember they used to comment on his hair saying that, wow, how do you keep his hair so neat? How do you do this and how do you do that? And I was like, I just wash his hair and retwist it. It's nothing special that I did. But now when I am going through, when I have gone through what I've gone through with mine and Jaden's locks, I reflected and I realized, wait, I know exactly what I did to avoid my older son at that time to, um, you know, avoid him getting any buildup in his locks. So this is what qualifies me to talk to you guys about this topic. And this is why I said in Jaden's two years lock update video that when I move forward, I know what I will be doing differently so that he will not experience lock buildup. So that's a bit of backstory. So let me jump right into it. Now, the first thing I would suggest when you start your lock journey or you know you're along your lock journey or whatever but more so when you start it and as you're progressing to avoid lock um, build up build up in your locks is to ensure that you are maintaining your wash day routine as you have been before starting your locks right because when i started my son's lock journey back then i was washing his hair every two weeks without fail. So the first step in preventing or even avoiding buildup accumulating in your locks is to maintain your regular wash day schedule. Do not skip it, right? And the next thing, the second thing I would advise is to ensure that you are maintaining your locks on a daily to weekly basis. And when I say maintaining it, I mean in terms of like grooming it in terms of, <laughs> you know, um, taking out any um, lint or environmental, um, you know, pieces that you could find, um, stuff that could obviously cause buildup and you remove it from your locks, okay? You definitely wanna do that. And you know, it can be a bit difficult when it's yourself maintaining your own locks because I mean, you can't see the back of your head and all of that, unless you use a mirror, obviously. But um, definitely groom or maintain your locks on a daily to weekly basis. Because if you don't do that, these little particles can embed themselves in your locks and then eventually, you know, look, nasty and be environmental as well as um, attract product to them and then that be build up right now the third thing in order to prevent lock build up and i think this is like the biggest one that really really helped me um not um, um have my son get you know any build up in his locks was that i covered his locks every single night 
every night and i think the reason why i was um i kept this up at the at that time is because my son was going to school and i wanted to make sure his hair looked neat as long as possible so i would always cover his hair every single night um so that he's not like when he's sleeping he's not getting any fluff from the pillows or the sheets into his hair right so definitely those are the top three things i would definitely suggest you follow if you want to maintain your locks so that they do not um, accumulate any buildup. Now, in the event that you already have buildup and you're like, listen, I just want to get the buildup out my locks, guys. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen my video where I spoke about you know doing the ACV soak and all of these different things. In my humble opinion and from my experiment, I don't think ACV soaks really work on deeply embedded buildup, right? And I um, have a video which I'll link right here for you guys to check out on what is buildup and to give you an up close and personal look into my locks and the buildup that I had in my locks. And this is more than likely the buildup that you guys are facing. So when you are doing these ACV soaks thinking, that, oh, it's going to get it out, it's not gonna get it out. I don't care what anybody say, I've done it myself. I've done it a total of four times, two times on my head and two times on Jaden's head and it did not you know, get out the deeply embedded buildup. Yes, it got rid of surface like dirt on our scalp and on the surface of our locks, but to say these deeply embedded stuff, I'm telling you, I don't care what anybody say. It is not getting rid of those at all, okay? But how you can deal with these buildup are, these are two ways that I think you could do that. And that is either combing out your locks or cutting your locks off. Now, um, I know it's a bit harsh to say that because some people probably don't want to end their lock journey, but to be 100% honest with you, you're not going to be able to get those build up out of your locks because I have seen other lock content creators on YouTube talk about, Oh, listen, I got the build up out of my hair. I did the ACV soak. I'm using these really bad products such as the Neutrogena um, anti-residue product, which I would definitely link a video right here for you to check out because I went into details about the the, um, the ingredients used it's not good for your hair at all i do not recommend that product but i see people using these products saying that it helped them get the build up out of their hair that's a lie because trust me i've used it myself even though i use it about once or twice but i stopped after a while it all it did was make my hair feel so dry and my scalp feel like it was on fire it does not work okay um but i see these content creators talk about you know these things help get the build up out but then these very lock content creators later bleaching their, not bleaching, sorry, dyeing their hair, dyeing their hair black, dyeing their hair all different colors. And I'm just like, well, why are you dyeing your hair then? Why are you covering up? Like, what's going on? Like, you're, you don't have any gray hair. What's going on? But I rest my case. So I'm not going to say nothing further on that. But just don't be fooled, right? I'm just keeping it real. Do not be fooled. Because... If you are really getting these build up out of your hair, why are you dyeing it? Don't tell me, oh, I just want a new color. I just want to freshen up my locks. And okay, I believe you. Cool. But anyway, so as I'm saying, you can either comb your locks out, and that's what I did with my locks. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you the buildup that was actually inside my locks, like it's still there. And I'm going to show you exactly what the buildup is, even though I would have more than likely shared that information in the video that I linked right here. But I want to show you in this particular video what the buildup actually looks like. So this is what the buildup look like, right? This is what it is that you're saying that you're trying to get out of your hair. this these things right this is what makes your locks look really nasty and gray now i find it funny that there have been people in my comment section saying that it's because of the products i use on my hair like they're saying don't use no moisturizing hair butter you know my shea butter that i do make oh it's the oils that you're using on your hair oh it's this oh it's that 
even though those are the only two things that i really use on my hair oh sorry also my um what do you call it the the twisting gel that i was using and they're saying that this is what was causing my buildup. no first and foremost with my oldest son i used to use beeswax on his locks and bear in mind i had no clue about um how to maintain locks back then before i even got into this whole lock community and my son never had any build up and i know for a fact if my son had build up i would have already cut his locks and all of that because i can't stand that dirty look like not saying that people uh, I'm not trying to say that your hair is dirty because I understand what buildup is. So it's not necessarily that your hair is dirty or anything like that. But I don't like that look. And if I saw that on my son's hair back then, I would have already ended his lock journey. So when people are saying it's the products that you're using, I don't necessarily agree with that. I think it definitely comes down to how you maintain your hair. And like I also said, I think what definitely helped my son's hair back then is the fact that I covered his hair every single night without fail even on the weekends i would cover his hair as well so when people are saying that this is product buildup it is not product it is not product because if that was product why is the product still in the hair right there and it looks like fluff let me see let me show you look if this was product right if this was product why can i hold it and show you if this was a product What product is this people? Please tell me. Is this shampoo? Is this conditioner? Is this shea butter? That's not product. It is definitely environmental buildup. It's something that is literally like you could feel it, you can touch it. So um, when people are saying that it's the product that you use on your hair, definitely not. So I would definitely suggest combing out your locks if you want to retain your hair and restart your lock journey because that was why I also cut, um, combed mine out because I was like at least you know I still have my length and I could start my locks over with this length that I have um, in comparison to cutting it but when, with my first lock journey I did cut my locks then and at that time I didn't really know that you could actually comb me out lies because my husband did actually tell me that i could comb it out comb it out but i was like listen i ain't got no time to comb out all of these so i didn't comb it out then i just cut my, my locks at that time but this time around i decided to comb it out and you know i'm actually happy that i combed it out because i retained a lot of length okay so i hope you guys found today's video very helpful and if you did then definitely go ahead and check out some of my other playlists which um, include my lock journey Jaden's lock journey and also my lock updates videos so you can see um, you know kind of like follow through on what i experienced and what we both sorry experienced during our lock journey and also definitely check out the hair spa and the hair maintenance um which is the hair maintenance videos as well as the hair growth pharmacy etc so until next time we will be right back here with another video